this season, um, you know, you really see a lot more of the dynamic between Dwayne and his parents at that age. Um, you know, there's less of, uh, you know, the school drama, which is always really fun. But I think yeah. um, you really see that dynamic, especially between him and his mom, um, of him realizing what's important. First thing I want to ask you is obviously Young Rock season two premieres next week. And you're all you three are playing different versions of The Rock. Uh, so what can fans expect from your characters in this upcoming season? This season, it's it's a little surprising because I think, you know, last season we left off and um, you may think it's going forward, but we're actually going backwards a little bit with me and I'm going to be in Nashville. So it takes place a little bit before Pennsylvania. And yeah, I think this season, um, you know, you really see a lot more of the dynamic between Dwayne and his parents at that age. Um, you know, there's less of, uh, you know, the school drama, which is always really fun. But I think... Yeah. Um, you really see that dynamic, especially between him and his mom, um, of him realizing what's important. There's still more shenanigans and thieving, even more so than uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania had. Um, yeah. But there's going to be a lot of a lot of challenges. And I think, you know, Dwayne at 15 in Nashville um, really struggled, um, especially in figuring out who he is. And it was very uncomfortable, um, but it's exciting. And Uli, what about you? Uh, so for me, uh, we kick off with Dwayne at uh, playing in the CFL. Uh, obviously, we know that didn't work out. Um, and then we, we have the seven bucks moment, which is uh, yeah. pretty big off in his journey. And then we get to see him find his feet in the wrestling ring. Uh, and then, you know, grow into, you know, we get to see the first glimpses in, into him evolving into the rock. So, uh, well, you know, the early glimpses of that. And Adrian, what about you? Um, for me, uh, I'd say you can expect a lot more excitement in his era of time in the role because he goes on more adventures is what I'll say. Um, it's going to be really exciting for people to see what what's um what's next for little dewey at his age and um yeah that's really it and what's the one thing that you all all of you have learned from Dwayne after uh now doing two seasons of young rock uh i think i think for me is uh, Dwayne is so he just has a, such a huge appetite to learn i mean as much as he is driven uh, he just is, will always put himself in the position of being a student of whatever it is, whether it's football or, um, or wrestling. He really is keen to start from the bottom and, and work his way up. So th I think for me, that is, is pretty much explains, one, his work ethic, but also his, his mentality when, when, you know, everyone likes to see things uh, in their finished stages, right? You know, like... Uh, at the top of their game, but, but really seeing uh, what it takes to get there is, is something key for me. I feel like, um, you know, I've learned that I feel like Dwayne has mastered um, confidence without arrogance yeah. in a way that, you know, he uses that confidence to be sure of who he is, but also is vulnerable to hear what other people say and to learn, like Uli said, he's learning as he's growing. Um, but still has the confidence to believe in himself and um, take on whatever, you know, task is ahead of him. Um, um, yeah, I'm still thinking. Uh, but <laughs> I think um, Dwayne, he really, he really goes for what he wants to do and he doesn't look back or double think what he, he wants or is going to do next. Um he really goes for it with all his, all his potential. And uh, is, I think that's really cool. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And again, congratulations on season two of Young Rock.